the redhead agamas, Ooh, yeah. which they're not going to look too pretty at night, but this one's the female. The females, when he flares up, you'll see a couple little like orangish spotting right there, and they'll get a whitish kind of purpley hue underneath there. A lot of them will have like a little mottled green kind of pattern on their head. Once again, you know, that's more of a juvenile coloration and more of a flared up morning look. Right. They dull out at night and just kind of blacken out. Mm -hmm. But the males, the males are a lot prettier. Once again, he's jet black right now, but in the daytime, hence redhead Agama, he'll get a bright orangish red head. His body will look almost like a metallic kind of purple and then it'll fade to black back here and tip off with a little orangish white nice but these are becoming one of the more common invasives throughout the entire state uh, i was talking to one guy that believes that it's something that is spreading so much because of all the the rock orders, you know, down here in Florida, we, we got different like little quarries where they'll dig out, a, dig out a lake or something somewhere and take all the fill rock and they'll put it on a train, send it off somewhere in the state. And these guys, they like their rock so much. Redheaded Rockagama is the full name. Right. And uh, they'll end up coming over in a shipment on a train somewhere and end up establishing at a hundred other places in the state. But naturally they're from Africa so once again somebody that shouldn't be here they don't quite have as much chompers as the uh, the butterfly gamas but they do have the four little defined canines that once again aren't aren't like them butterfly vampire teeth but they still can put a nice little chomping on you if they want to I see that 